Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BASP self-learning video series tutorial in the Python for beginners. In this tutorial, we'll be going to see how, what is that Django in Python, how to configure and do the testing of Django. So first let's understand what is a Django. So basically Django is a high level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic design. It is built by experienced developer and it takes care of much of the hazards of web development so the developers can focus on writing your their app without needing to reinvent the wheel. And it is free and open source and with the help of Django we can design sites, we can manage sites. Django is ridiculously fast, it is fully loaded, reassuringly secure, externally scalable and incredibly versatile. Now what do you mean by ridiculously fast? It was designed to help developers to take applications from concept to completion as quickly as possible. So that's why the development is pretty fast in Django. Fully loaded, Django includes dozens of extras you can use to handle common web development tasks and also Django take care of the user authentication as well. So it's a fully loaded uh, development tool which is used to which is used by developers to develop sites and all. It is highly secure and it takes security seriously and help developers avoid many common security mistakes such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery and clickjacking. It is extremely scalable. Uh, it basically it has got busiest sites on the planet. So they use the Django ability to quickly and flexibility scale to meet the heaviest traffic demands. It is incredibly versatile. The companies, the organization and government, they have used Django to build all sort of things from contact management system to social network to scientific computing platforms. So this is about Django. So let's see the next is how to install Django on a system. So to install Django on the system, the first thing they require is the Python. So the Python 2.7 version or 3.4 version should be installed on your system and the path has been set in the system variables in your system as I have already done I'll show you that so if you check my property so first of all you can see the Python is already installed on my system it's two I'm using 2.7 version and later on we have got advanced system settings I mean you need to right click on your system properties advanced system settings environment variables and within environment variables you need to look for path and if you look the, if you open path you can see the python uh, 2.7 python 2 2.7 script will be there so if you can see python 27 or python 27 2.7 script path should be here if it is not there you need to add it explicitly once it is done to set up Django on your system you need to launch the command prompt so through command prompt we can launch it because we have already set the environment path in the environment variable in our system so we do not need to redirect we do not need to move to that particular directory I can simply use pip installer pip install Django that's the command to install Django on, on the system when we press enter it will collect the Django directory If it is at already downloaded on the system, it will open that and it will install Django on the system. Otherwise, it will download it from the internet and it will install it. So you can see here the Django has successfully installed on my system. Now to test whether Django has installed or not, I'll enter here Python. So the I have been redirected to the Python directory, the, the editor Python editor, and here I write import the Django. And if there is no error, you will get the next prompt. It means the, the Django has successfully installed on my desktop, in, on my system. So I'll quit this and CLS. Now, next thing is, we need so installation is done successfully. Next, we would like to configure. Let's see how to configure Django and how to test the Django in the system. So to configure Django on my local system on my desktop, I am going to create a site for that. So to set up a site. So first of all, I'll switch to desktop. Desk, sorry, CD, CDSK, 
desktop and here I write I need to write a command to set up to start a new project in Django so I write here Django admin dot py start project and or my site or let's say bis bisp site when I press enter you can see a folder has been created here bisp my site if you explore this folder you will find out there are two for two files in this BISP site folder first is BISP site another one is the manage one manage Python file in this BISP site you can see they, there are predefined files in it settings URL and WSGI these are Python files so now I'll switch to CD BISP site CD BISP site because I should get into this to execute it okay so to run the execute command next command I need to get back and here I write Python manage dot py and run server this is to test whether the D Django is working successfully or not so I just press enter and you can see here the the server has started and that's the IP address of my server but you can see it is asking for you have an NM unapplied migration so your app may not work properly until they are applied so what I'm going to do is in first of all I'm quitting this and I write here Python manage dot py migrate sorry the, Python, the command should be correct so migration is done and you can see there are a few more files has been this is basically database migration as SQL Lite 3 this is to integrate with the database and now we can run our command to run the server so the integration is done successfully and we are getting an IP address 127 0.0.1 colon 800 so I'll switch here and I write here HTTP 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 press enter and you can see here when you get this screen it means your D Django has worked work successfully We are not getting any files here, any more files because we need to set up data model. We need to set up our website here. But this is the first interface of D Django. And if you are getting this, if you are getting this page, it means your D Django is working successfully, or your web server, D Django web server, is working fine. So in our next, in my next tutorial, I will be going to tell you how to set up a site on our, on your desktop. And how to configure it with Django and how to test it with Django. That's all in this tutorial. If you have any queries or if you have any questions, you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com. For customized training on Python, you can connect with us. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on Python. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.